more than two decades, viewers have been helping us show the weather and some other fun stuff through our Sky Spies network. We got a lot of regular contributors, but this time of year, we anxiously wait for the annual submission from Stephen Greenwood. He faithfully shares photos of his dad Scott's over-the-top jack-o'-lanterns. And finally, we got to meet the man behind these pumpkin works of art. Jody Kurzman has his story. Scott Greenwood claims he isn't an artist. No. But every fall, he begins gathering supplies for his annual non-art project. By Halloween week, Scott is ready to get to work carving dozens of pumpkin masterpieces. <laughs> he says these carvings really aren't that hard to do. Anybody can do it. His son Stephen disagrees. It's not as easy as you think it is. He makes it look much easier than it is. It's not hereditary. I am a perfectionist myself, but I, I've tried, and I, I can't even do just the, the triangle eye. 35 years ago, Scott was carving pretty basic jack-o'-lanterns. But then his competitive nature took over. And his designs just keep getting more and more detailed. I always wanted to have the best one, so. This year, this might just be the best one. Stevie Nicks on a pumpkin. It's kind of like a a Halloween folk folklore out in this area. Stephen takes pictures of them all because while these pumpkins won't last forever, the photos will, and they'll be a constant reminder of how Scott worked to make Halloween a little extra special. In Dickinson, I'm Jody Kurzman reporting for your news leader. Isn't that amazing? Well, Stephen promises he'll get his dad's 2024 carving submitted to Sky Spies by Thursday, Kevin. I look forward to it. I love putting them together. So much fun. Got a couple days to go here. Well, 